One problem with sorting or filtering a database table is that you constantly have to define what you want to sort or filter. But if you sort or filter your data a certain way on a regular basis, you can use a query. A query is nothing more than a saved version of a particular sort or filter criteria. By saving your criteria as a query, you can select that query by name later. If your database table contains dozens of different fields, you may find it confusing to make sense of all your information. A simple query strips away fields so that you can see only the fields containing the data you want to see, like a person's name and phone number, but hides other information about her. To create a query, click the Create tab, then the Query Wizard icon in the Queries group. A dialog box appears. This box lets you choose a Query Wizard. Click the simple Query Wizard, and then OK. Now you can pick the fields you want to use. Click a field name, then click the Greater Than button. Access displays your chosen field. Repeat this process for every field you want to use in your query. Click Next. When the dialog box appears, it asks if you want to view the data in detail, which shows every record, or Summary, which shows numerical information like the total number of records found, or the average value, and the minimum maximum value. Choose a view, and click Next. When the dialog box appears, type in a description for your query. Then click Finish. Let's say you want to find out how many customers use multiple cards. You can create a query to find duplicate data, in this case, the customer. You start just as you did for the simple query, but this time click the Find Duplicates Query Wizard, then proceed just as you did before. Click the table you want access to search and hit Next. Select the fields you want to search and add them by clicking the Greater Than button. Click Next. The dialog box asks if there are fields you want to show alongside the duplicate information. Click the fields you want and add them by clicking the Greater Than button. Click Next and Finish. Let's say you store both customer information and card information in one database that's divided into separate tables. Each table may share some common fields. An unmatched query examines two or more database tables to look for missing information. So you could also use an unmatched query to find customers who haven't yet entered their credit card information. To create an unmatched query, you start just as you did for the other types of queries, but this time click the Find Unmatched Query Wizard. A dialog box appears and asks you to choose a database table that contains the unmatched records you want to find. Click the database table, and then click Next. When another dialog box appears, choose a table that contains at least one field that also appears in the table you just chose. Click a second database table, and then click Next. Another dialog box appears and asks you to identify the field that both database tables have in common. Click the Common field. Click in the gray button that appears between the two fields, and then click Next. When another dialog box appears, click on the field from the second database table you selected. You can repeat this for every additional field you want to display. Name your query, then click Finish and save it. To view a query you've created, just double-click on the query name. You can also rename an existing query by right-clicking and hitting Rename. Now type a new name and press Enter. Each time you view a query, it displays a tab. If you want to get rid of a query, right-click on the name in the tab, use the pull-down menu, and choose Close. You can also select Delete when you want to completely delete a query. Office asks if you're sure that's what you want to do. Just confirm by clicking Yes or No.